Hi people. So in this video I'm going to show you how we fix the flickering screen on a Nintendo DS Lite. Unfortunately I can't really. I'm trying to pick it up. I really can't tell if it's picking it up. But to my naked eye I can see that it's it's flickering. Not a lot but it's, it's enough to notice it and it'll be enough to do your eyes in. <laughs> so we need to leave it turned on, we we'll turn it over, we need to take the battery cover off, and now what you'll see is if you look in there, you look in this one you can see what looks like a screw, and that one too. Now as you're looking at it from the back, the left one is for the top and the right one is for the bottom screen. Now it, it's really tricky to do these because this screwdriver that I use for the screws that fit perfectly. This screwdriver fits perfectly for these screws. Unfortunately this screwdriver will not turn them and you need to find the perfect screwdriver otherwise you're going to strip the top off. You're going to strip the top off there and you're not going to be able to adjust them whatsoever. So, I've found that this works. And this is the screwdriver that I used to use for the Nintendo DS Lite before I got my iFixit screwdriver. And now this works perfect. Now, because we can't see the flickering on the camera, you're not you're not really going to be able to notice me doing it but I'm going to I'm going to adjust it now so that the screen is really bad so that you can see it so if you look there now we can see that it's really bad it's struggling to see an image on that screen but it rarely gets that bad so you can you can twist the screw any which way, clockwise, anti-clockwise. So, we'll twist that anti-clockwise. And as you can see, now if we do it clockwise, so it doesn't matter whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise going to get the same outcome so you obviously you need to do it as slowly once you get a very clear image you need to do it as slowly as you can until you notice that it's not flickering at all not even in the slightest and now I'm looking at it like that I can see that it's it's still slightly flickering now the problem is is you need to Make sure that you're on the screw. So the best thing to do is to keep the screwdriver on it at all times. Oh, again, that's still flickering. So because I'm doing this on camera now and I'm trying to pick it up on the camera, I'm not able to bring it up close so I can see it clearly. But with your own eyes, you'll, you'll be able to do it on your own. So, and now, the, the reason why they sometimes flicker is when you, cha when you change the motherboard, it's because this specific motherboard and the screens on, let, let's say this one, this motherboard will be accustomed to that. So the sc these screens are set up for this motherboard. Now if you put this motherboard in a different DS Lite, then you may need to adjust these to the screens. So I'm just going to show you these as you can see them closer. Let's just... There we go. So this one's for the top screen and this one's for the bottom screen. And then you adjust them like so. But yeah, it it is it is possible to snap the heads off these 
and then if that happens and you need to change this whole thing then so i hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching